Well, Pope Park is a popular and beautiful place to visit. A pool, a playground, colorful leaves in the fall. But look a little closer and it's also home to some of Hartford's challenges, including an increasing homeless population and a tent city that sometimes harbors secrets. He's unforgettable. Today is the day that they found his body. Yes. Right? One year ago today, Victoria Emmons was told her brother Matthew's body. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. Was found dead inside a makeshift tent here at Pope Park in Hartford. Every day I have to carry that and think about how my brother was found dead in a tent. Never in my life did I ever think that would be the outcome. The police report details how Matthew, who is 27, died of an accidental overdose and acute fentanyl and cocaine intoxication. His tent in Pope Park littered with drug paraphernalia. Seeking more answers. I don't know how he ended up here. Victoria hired a private investigator. Now armed with new evidence, police have reopened the case. I'm not saying that my brother was murdered, but certain things could have been handled better. A Freedom of Information Act request revealed that over several years, nearly a dozen bodies have been discovered inside Pope Park. I think that's the most concerning thing for me is that there were six bodies found here at this park within the last year. Including Hartford's recent November 9th murder of a 17 year old. His body found wrapped in a comforter in nearby Pope Park West. I know how that feels to have your, your loved one gone in an instant. And though 27 year old Matthew Emmons may be gone, his sister Victoria is committed to making sure he's not forgotten and that the unanswered questions that still surround his death are put to rest. I don't want my brother to die in vain. Um, we have such a crisis with mental health and addiction. According to a new report, Connecticut is dealing with a 13% rise in homelessness statewide over the last year. And while drug overdose deaths are down, thanks to more widespread use of Narcan, opioid use is higher than ever. Overdoses are up. Shootings are dying, which is good, and people getting involved, which is great. But I think the most important factor here is that finally City Hall is getting involved. If there is a silver lining, it's that violent crime in the capital city is down by a lot, more than 50% from this same time last year. It's a success story we'll be exploring in the days ahead. Reporting in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.